because before that you studied microbiology and, and primary teaching at primary school, because I thought that was a really good combination. Yeah. This is a very strong <laughs> tradition of That's microbiology in primary school. <laughs> <laughs> Do something useful. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, slowly wearing my parents down, you know, I was supposed to be a doctor, like, like my brothers were supposed to be doctors. Weren't we all? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I had to go to university, do a science degree. I, I never even questioned that I, I, I could do anything else. Mm. Um, and then, uh, you know, hating it, uh, slowly sneaking off to the film club and, and looking at that, always as a, a voyeur, really, never feeling like I could, I, I could go there. Um, because I'm not, I'm not even uh, first generation here. I was born in Malaysia. Mm. Um, both my parents are from Kerala in southern India. So that, that period where, um, you, you know, to justify that move from your homeland, uh, it has to be justified in terms of success. And success, uh, from my parents' point of view, is money. Mm. And money is not the arts. So, <laughs> um, no, wasn't so, before tonight. Yeah, it was a great deal of trepidation yeah. that they saw me trot off to drama school. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, uh, subsequently they, they've been very supportive of, of what I do. Uh, but th that's, that's the reality. Um, and how do you feel about portraying, I mean, in, in the three plays that I've seen, you portray a certain aspect of, um, of New Zealand, I suppose, a, 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 what's the word, um, emig emigres, emigres mm. to New Zealand. Would you look at, um, do, you, do you think in the future you might portray other aspects of New Zealand society, or, or do you feel that that's your, that's what you have to do? Uh, I, don't, I don't know whether where the stories come from, really. I mean, Christian's Dairy, uh, yeah, on one level, it's, a, it's a, a love story set in the corner shop, but actually when I, when I reflected back on it, you know, th this is the funny thing about writing a play, uh, is that you actually find out what it means a few years later. <laughs> um, the, the relationship portrayed in there is the relationship with my parents. And when I really think about it, it's, it's me trying to understand their arranged marriage. Um, Did they understand it when they saw the play? No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, they saw it was a full house. They were calculating how much I might do. <laughs> it was all good. Yeah. But, yeah, you know, I, I, I was raised in New Zealand in a Western notion of romantic love. Every kind of uh, uh, film I was seeing were, was saying romantic love was a be-all and end-all, and I knew my parents had practically met on their wedding day. And so um, some part of me was figuring, figuring that out in the play. Uh, I didn't consciously do that, and if, if I had consciously set out to do that, it would have been appalling, I'm sure. But um, that, that's what it was, really. Uh, and subsequently, Candlestick Maker is, is my journey back to India to, to find um, my roots, you know, uh, Lonely Planet in Hand, going, going back to my grandmother's home. That, that's all, all mixing around the Pickle King, you know, the, the character I play is a night porter in a hotel. That was a job I had as a student. So you write what you know. Um, I mean, people will uh, see, see that I'm Indian and, and uh, assume that, that, that I'm trying to portray, um, uh, you know, an Indian voice, but that's just my voice.